hello my beautiful Scorpios welcome to the channel everyone is welcome my name is Donna and I'm here for a Scorpio reading four parts time stamped below if you'd like to check we are going to hop into this reading Scorpio Scorpio you are right here in this reading and this beautiful six of cups current energy let's clarify the hanged man it is the overall energy of the reading today for Scorpio in love watchers cross watchers everybody's welcome justice card finding balance so the hanged man is all about looking at things from a different perspective trying to achieve some enlightenment you know this is very Cirque du Soleil it's very comfortable looks very steady stable Libra energy some of you may be dealing with some sort of commitment or legal agreements at this time and the eight of pentacles you're willing to do the work and so is your partner justice can indicate a legal paperwork such as a marriage license so why do we have the page of wands throwing caution to the winds is your recent energy in the past with your beloved person we see the four of cups okay so you've had some sort of interaction that seemed a bit mild, a bit tame, maybe even a bit boring. So let's see what else we have here. There may be an age difference between you and a potential long-term love interest. The Heart of Swords, Queen of Swords energy. Libra energy, very strong here. When we have the Hanged Man, that's Pisces energy. The Page of Wands is Fire Sign Sagittarius energy. So, but we have this Queen of Swords here. Why is the Queen of Swords and the Four of Cups making a head over heart decision? Why is that here in the recent past? Ten of Wands, something was burdensome. That's a very quick evolution. So when you first met or when you first came together or recently, it looks as though things have not felt fulfilling. But the two of you gave up on some burdens that were you know, coming into the relationship, the Heart of Cups. That is a Queen of Cups. So we have two Queens here. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. So somebody may have been entertaining more than one person. Scorpio, there you are in your reading. The energy that's current in your relationship is the Six of Cups, a reunion, a meeting or a meeting up with somebody that you may have known since childhood, maybe somebody that wants to grow old with you. There's a lot of loyalty with those beautiful dogs. We have the clarifying energy as the Empress. Very nurturing, very loving, very motherly. Very, um, that's Venus, right? The Empress is a creator. She gives birth to ideas of the mind, of the body. But the two of you, Empress energy is very powerful, very loving, and a sense of swords paying a lot of attention. You may meet this person or you may have reconnected with them on the internet. The Page of Swords is all about spying, social media. Oh, both of you are looking for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I like that energy for you. Let's see, what else is here? What can we learn about this reunion? Nine of Pentacles, two people coming together who have their act together, two people who are very highly desirable. Two people who uh, earn enough money, have nice homes, dress well. Both of you have what it takes going on. The Seven of Pentacles is all about investing in a relationship, and that's how your partner sees the two of you moving forward. The Seven of Wands, though. So there's some closed-off energy here. Your person is invested, but it looks like they could be fearful of getting hurt. They're very, they're a little defensive here. Heart of Wands, the third queen plus the Empress. So the third queen plus the Empress was a four of cups over here. So it looks like somebody created a burden in this relationship by not giving too much, by, by having sort of a, a fit of boredom and trying out a lot of different partners. So tell us more about your partner, Scorpio. Scorpio, that could be you too. You could be the one who's dating multiple people. The three of coins, though, the person that you came to ask about is interested in investing in this relationship. The death card is indicating that there is a transformation required 
for this relationship to go anywhere. All right, so the death card is birth, death and rebirth. So it does look like you may be transforming from this kind of crazy energy here into something much more stable and desirable. Your person views you, Scorpio, as somebody who is closed off to what they have to say. The universe says that they feel as though you want them to level up, and short of leveling up, you're not too interested. It looks as though we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Your person does not see you highly invested in this relationship or not even invested at all. They don't see you as putting roots down. The Sun card, though, they do see you as fun. They see you as fun. They see you as somebody who is joyful in life, that you're happy, that you're really fun to be around, that you're very stable, very steady. That is Leo energy, the Two of Swords is Libra energy. Your person is coming in and their heart space is a king of wands, fiery, passionate, a leader, somebody with a lot of pride, somebody who wants to lead this relationship. And we have the queen of wands up here and we have the king of wands. So divine partnership, three of swords says that, okay. So Scorpio, I now understand very clearly why you are feeling fretful and disinterested in what's going on this person may have had you in a third party situation and or what else about that three of swords and king of wands okay so there has been some sort of betrayal in the heart space of this person it looks as though they have really uh passed judgment on the situation with you that they used poor judgment that they brought about the death of this relationship they were discontent, dating around a lot. They feel, though, right now that the way forward is to tell you that they love you. It looks as though they fell in love with you during this process. Okay, tell us more about the Queen of Wands. Two of Coins, somebody who's juggling. So they really, wow. They see you as somebody who's juggling. They could be juggling. The Five of Cups, lots of sadness. They feel as though they owe you an apology. Scorpio, Scorpio. This is like a lover who wants to come back. But they're coming in with movement of wands energy. Some player energy. You have a history. This person, whoever this is, you have a very long history with them. So why are they coming back is the Knight of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Ace of Wands, all passion. Wow. What else do we need to know? This is what's hidden between the two of you. One of you has walked away. We get the energy of the Strength card. Leo energy again. Why would both of you have this energy? The Movement of Cups, Knight of Cups. So both of you look like you've been in a lot of intense feelings and emotions in this situation both of you want a new beginning though the fool card is a new beginning in love it's all about a new start but it is a fool card the fool card you both feel a little bit foolish here and it looks like you both walked away from each other spirit is saying this person wants to rush in but the seven of swords is telling us that this person has you know, Spirit is saying, warning you that this could be the wrong move to make. The Ten of Coins energy is telling us that somebody may, may be married. They may not have been honest about it. They may be hiding it. It looks as though somebody cannot get over a past love. It looks like you have multiple people coming in here also, Scorpio. It's a very complex reading, almost very difficult to do. Um... But I like a thorny reading. The, following your intuition is the advice of spirit. Spirit is saying, go ahead, plant your, your emotions. You know, go ahead and feel your feels. This is a Honey, I'm Home card. The Chariot card. Cancerian energy. Rush in where fools fear to tread. Be very aware. You know, it looks like you need to heal some a, a significant amount of lies or dysfunction or toxicity it looks as though you've never really spoken about it with this person again spirit feels as though the two of you may be destined to be together 
Virgo energy. You may work with this person. The Knight of Cups is the outcome card here for you, Scorpio. That is Pisces energy. Five of Coins. Oh my goodness. Scorpio, Scorpio. It looks like you have a lot of old... Um, I wouldn't say you have baggage because you're trying to ignore this. You look kind of checked out. You look like you were certainly in your power and you left this behind. Your person was invested, but I get the death card from you. You feel as though they owe you an apology. You'd rather be alone than be with somebody who can't keep it together. Scorpio, spirit of swords using head over heart. Um, you know, just a head over heart decision. Cutting this person out of your life. The Wheel of Fortune, taking your chances elsewhere. That's what I'm getting. Spirit is saying that, you know, the two of you, your person may love you, but the betrayal factor says you should ignore them. The Six of Coins, you know, we're seeing that this person looks like they're coming and going in the relationship. I think this is, there's a ton of love. I think that there's, there's just some real, really strong, situation that keeps you in your head gemini energy so for many of you you may be preparing for divorce here that's what i would see somebody that you might have been with a long time i think there are several excuse me i think there are several storylines but i don't see this as wish fulfillment i see this as um you recovering from a painful situation but we're going to look and see what your best course of action is because clearly the emotions are running very high. Very, you are in this relationship. And it looks, again, I feel like this is a relationship that may have uh, broken down a long time ago. But you tell me in the comments. We have, you see clearly now, so this person can't fool you. So you're very safe in that regard. Scorpio, you know the score. You're, you're the most psychic of all the signs. Well, you and Pisces. We have the miracles are endless. Wow. So your best course of action is just stay in your truth that whatever miracles are available will come through regardless. And you can overcome any obstacles if you choose to do so. So this is, this is very interesting. Let's see what the sacred destiny cards are going to tell us about your best course of action. Tell us, please, for our beautiful Scorpio friends. Passion and pleasure, savor your life. Well, Scorpio, the cards are just saying, you know, live in the moment, treasure the moment. Don't make any commitments. You know, let this person prove themselves if you want to. And in the meantime, you don't owe them a darn thing. First light, beginning a new cycle. So if you want to, you can begin the cycle alone. You can begin the cycle with this person. Let's see what the um, help and hindrances could be at this time. What help is available from the universe or what hindrances may surface. Let's see what we have. We have the Oracle's gift. So you're going to get a gift at this time. Spirit is coming in with a strong gift. You have the roots of abundance. You have everything you need to grow a happiness that you've not experienced yet, Scorpio. And we have willing release. Okay. So spirit is really the help and hindrance here is that you should follow your own light. What your person likes best about you, Scorpio. What does Scorpio's person like best about Scorpio? Let's see what we have. So after helps and hindrances, Scorpio... Your person absolutely loves that you're very, you're very, you always have a very youthful appearance. You have a, a tender heart. You always have your heart open. That is Pisces energy. The King of Cups, Scorpio, there you are in your reading. Your person knows that you've been to Hades and back and you have survived and thrived. You're very calm, cool, and collected. You have control of your emotions. Your person also sees you as somebody who doesn't lash out at others. They see you as a person who keeps your wits about you. 
that you very much are in the energy of Eight of Swords. You keep to yourself. You don't spread gossip. You don't spell, spread rumors. They have great respect for that. The Four of Swords, they see that, see that you've done a lot of healing work, that you, know, that you are taking care of yourself at this time, and they have regard. They hold you in high regard for your ability not to really expect anybody else to step in and they love the fact that you are very much a person who's very stable very steady very smart very much a problem solver somebody who's very reliable they think that you're a hard worker they hold you in high regard that's virgo energy they see you as a problem solver a creator of some sort we have the Eight of Pentacles. They see you doing very well for yourself. They always see you as a person who's learning new crafts and skills. They see you as a person who's highly invested in learning and mastering things. The Queen of Wands, they see you as very sexy, very beautiful, very exciting. They see you as the Three of Coins. Somebody who really brings themselves to the table. They see you as a person who's easy to work with, who's easy to live with. You, they see you as a person who is very much a collaborator with other people in life. The Five of Swords, they see you as a person who can really cut the wheat from the chaff. They see you as a person who could, quite frankly, Scarlet, I don't give a damn. They see you as a person who will stand your ground. And if somebody has hurt you, you are willing to absolutely cut them out of your life. So Scorpio, that's what I have for you. It's a very complicated reading. I think that there's a lot of different stories behind this reading. Please send me a love from Chicago. Leave some comments. I answer all the comments. Tell me if you like the format of the reading, but I'd really love to know more detail about this reading. It was quite complicated. Thank you, Scorpio. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.